today we are going to do lab 3 which is free conversion so uh, the procedure is for free conversion we need to re firstly remove the blower fan so to remove the blower fan we need to make sure the main supply is turned off this one is turned off and the black one is also turned off so to, so to remove the blower fan we need to loosen the nut and pull out the fan and then we need to remove the socket we loosen the nut and pull out the socket and then to start the experiment we need, uh, we need to turn on the main supply and the heater switch alright Okay, uh, the thermocouple is in the socket. That is D1, D2, and the T3. Uh, and then switch the heater, switch the heater power to increase. To get the power until 15 watt. Okay, after we wait for 10 minutes, we're going to switch off the power heater and wait until the T2 pull down and we're going to change into the plate. Now we are going to flat flip and spin. Repeat step 1 to 4. Come here. First, we put the flat flip. Ah, jam. Sekejap. After that, we go into switch up. <laughs> this one we connect to the heater. This is the thermometer we connect to P2. Switch on it. Switch on it. And we switch on. Second on. Okay. We set the power to 15 watt. for at least 10 minutes to stabilize the power. Thank you. Okay, for the next experiment, we are going to use pin heat transfer surface. Then, we repeat step 1 to 4. So, firstly, we switch on the heater and then set the power to 5 watt. After we set the power, we will wait for at least 3 minutes and then we are going to record the temperature and then after that, we are going to change the power of foot with increment of 5 watt until the maximum power is 50 watt After that, we switch off the heater and Electric supply. That's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. I'm Ameh bin Muhammad Adnan. Uh, today I will present the data analysis about the experiment free conversion. For power we are using 15 watt. So in this experiment we are using the heat transfer surface that is uh, three type flat surface, pin and fin. So the T1 uh, in Celsius for flat surface is 
54.5 and pin 38.6 for fin 49.4 T2 uh, that flat surface is 26.3 for pin 27.1 and fin 21.6 so in this experiment we will get the difference to compare the temperature based on T1 minus T2 so we will get uh, for flat surface that is, that is 28.2 pin 11.5 and fin 27.8 Uh, so, based on the data analysis, we can compare to the graph that is uh, flat surface get the higher temperature uh, compared to the fin and pin. So, uh, data analysis for pin type, they are power up to 50 watt from 0, we will up for 5 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 until 50. So, uh, we will compare the surface. That is 0, we will get 24.9. Uh, so, the dark inlet will get 27.9. So, we will compare the different. That is TS tolak. Uh, minus T in so we will get T uh, we will get 3 so in this experiment we can conclude the more power will get the higher temperature so based on the data we will uh, put in this graph we can see the more power we will get the high temperature as you can see, for 15 watt, 50 watt, we will get the temperature for 43.7 Celsius. That's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and very good morning. My name is Muhammad Ramizan Bedanan, and I am going to discuss further about the data that we have obtained from the experiment. So, for the free conversion on fixed power, we have generated a bar chart to represent the data. Based on the bar chart that we have generated, we can conclude that the flat surface created the highest temperature difference compared to another surface. And the fin type surface created a slightly lower temperature difference than the flat surface. And this is because heat is dissipated more efficiently on the surface with a higher surface area and another possible explanation for this occurrence is the roughness of the surface as we can see a rough surface may increase heat transfer the next question requires us to give an example on application of the flat surface in any system and from our finding, we can say that the flat type surface is used in double pane windows which allow heat transfer between air and the glass. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning. My name is Muhammad Afiq bin Abdul Rahman. Today I will be presenting the discussion part for temperature and power. So for this part, uh, firstly, to answer the question is to create create a chart of temperature against power uh, this is the chart uh, from the from the graph we can say that the temperature increase linearly with the power this means as the power increase it will increase the temperature at the inlet so the amount of heat that can be transferred will also increase uh, that's why in the data the, the temperature of pin surface is higher than the temperature at the inlet because the heat has been transferred to the pin through convection process uh, next, for the next question, we need to estimate the gradient for each graph. So, for the gradient, uh, we need to create a trend line and then we estimate the the slope to be 0 0.847. 0 .847. So, uh, 
from the slope, we need to predict the gradient for another surface, which is fin surface. So to predict the gradient for fin surface, we need to look back at the bar chart. So in the bar chart, we can see that the fin surface create the higher, higher temperature difference compared to pin surface and flat surface. So based on this information, we could predict that fin surface will have a steeper slope since this surface create the highest temperature difference. Assalamualaikum, my name is Ishaq bin Muhammad Fuzilah. I will continue to the discussion of this lab report. For the discussion of this topic, to minimize the time to stabilize the surface temperature is by close any open hole. It's to avoid a to avoid a temperature increase and dehumidify the air in the ducting, such as leaking of the ducting cause the condition of the air not stabilize. It may be drop the temperature and drop the pressure of the air to circulate in the ducting. Next, conduct the experiment, the experiment in well ventilated room. The purpose is to ensure that the result obtained is more accurate. The conclusion of this lab report is we are able to operate the machine without supervision. Number two, we are able to edit, identify different type of heat transfer surface. Number three is we manage to conduct the experiment according to the procedure. Number four is flat type surface created the highest, the highest temperature difference. Number five is pin type surface created create the lowest temperature difference. That's all from me. Thank you.